You said you're, sorry, you said you were an ex-Muslim, yes? Yes. What's your name, sorry? Armin. Armin, Abbas, yeah? Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Yeah. Scripture, the difference is Muhammad, it wasn't because people didn't meet his Quranic challenge, because how, how, of course you can't replicate a book, if, you can't replicate any book. We go replicate Shakespeare. If you replicate, if it's exactly the same thing, then it's Shakespeare. Shakespeare. If it's not, then I see We, we, we didn't no, say copy, but, did we? You've, you've raised a lot of red herrings, quite frankly. Okay. And I'll tell you why. So you be, do you believe that therefore Muhammad was a liar and he deceived the people in believing that this is the Quran from God? I tell, you what's, I tell you what's very interesting. Right. The Quran actually talks about this concept of I don't know. Which is a very honest position. The Quran says that the disbelievers are uncertain and they hide behind their uncertainty. They're not hiding, they're, they're actually wearing because, it with pride. Because they're wearing it with pride because it's a cop-out. And that there were thousands of messengers that were sent to every nation around the world with this same message. Okay. I would hold more validity to that claim than some historian who's telling me that, oh, I've proven that these are all stem from the same place because that claim that you've just made, right. I can tell you is false. Well, the thing I never said, when it comes to history, nothing is 100% right. proven, right? Right. So I didn't use the word okay. proven. So who, who makes yeah. the claim? Well, I mean, the many scholars. Which? Right? Which scholar? Well, I mean, I have to go, I don't memorize the name, I just read the work, but I'm not good with names, okay? Yeah. yeah. But uh, I could I could look it up if you want. Yeah, right yeah. Now, but that's not a point. But what do you, what do you, how do you know, so you said you know that your sources are the Quran. Yes. And you know that it's from God. Yes. How do you know that? That's a very good question. So whenever you look at something, um, you have to look at, what are the things that you would have to find for the original claim to be true? So, for example, the Quran says, Allah says in the Quran, had this book come from anyone other than your Lord, you would have found many, many contradictions, many discrepancies in it. Right. So, for example, if Allah claims about a prophecy, something to happen, and it doesn't happen, then you have a very strong argument that you may, you've prophesied many things in here that happened many years later, right. but they didn't happen. Right. So you have a valid claim of being critical of that book, right? Mm -hmm. If now those claims come true, you have to argue that, well, either the person, the author of this book must have known, right. or he made a guess, and his guess was correct. Right. Now, the way that a rational person would assess whether it's a guess or whether it's something more significant, is that on balance of probability, he would have to say, when this claim was made, on balance of probability, the person who made the claim at that time, what would he have been thinking in terms of what this outcome might be? So for example, I'll give you an example. Allah talks about the battle between the Romans and the Persians. And at one time, the Romans are completely defeated. And the prediction is made that within a certain set period of time, that in fact they will be reconquered. Right. And at that time, nobody accepted that as a reasonable claim. Okay. Because when, you know, when you've been destroyed, there's no concept of you saying that just within a very short period, within eight to 10 years, you, know, you will once again reconquer. Did you say specifically yeah, eight to 10 years? Th that's the specified time. Okay. No, 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 hold on a second. Okay. Now, if you have many claims made of that nature, then the Quran. many, yes, many claims. If you have many aspects which touch on a, let's say, a, uh, a nature, uh, on, on, on things of nature, right. which were unknown at the time. Right. If you come up with a, a scripture which openly challenges the reader, okay. that if you are truthful, Right. Come up with the Quran like this. Can I hold on, hold on a second? No, let no. Me I, let me know when I look. Can when you ask me, okay, sorry. What are the reasons? Right. If there are many reasons, I have to go through at least some of them. Okay, but if I if I go through one of them, two of them, it's some, to some extent irrelevant. But then, but then I will forget. The, like I need to. Well, then I can remind you. Okay. Okay. So I, I mean, I, I wish I could take notes. Uh, I can. Then I can remind you. Yeah. Okay. So when you have a scripture which basically says, look. 
and you have to think about the psychology here. Okay. You have a man in a desert in the seventh century telling the Arabs of his pe at the time of his, pe uh, uh, his people at that time, who were the most eloquent poets and authors and writers. Right. He himself is, as the Quran explains, ummi, unlettered. Okay. And then he challenges them, the Quran basically challenges them, if you are truthful, and I'm the liar basically, come up with a Quran like this. Okay. Then the challenge drops yes. to but 10 chapters like it. Okay. Just 10 chapters. Right. Then it falls to one chapter. Come up to a chapter. Again. Now, there are two or three things here. Number one, the challenge has not been met. Right. Number two, you have to look at the psychology. Would a person who wants to lie and deceive people would he make such a claim? Is that a question? Can I answer? No, no, I'm just saying, would he? he and I think that yes. the, on, the, honest, answer the yes. honest answer is that if he has poets and authors and writers around him, knowing that they could easily defeat him on that, on that subject, it would be futile no, and it, suicidal to make that claim. No, it wouldn't. Okay, why is that? Um, because you can always claim that you know, because what's a good book and what's a good writing is a very subjective claim, right? So no matter what I write, I could claim like, look, my book is better than yours. Yes. And you could be like, no, it's not. Yes. My book is better than yours. Yes. And no matter what I write, you could always in the end of the day just say that, no, this is a great, greater book. My book is a greater book. So this is an impossible challenge to me because I could write even a better book than yours and you will just keep saying, no, my book is better. And you would just deny the fact that my book, the book that I wrote I'll, is I'll better. I'll tell you why you're wrong. Okay. okay. On, an, on an individual basis, right. you're quite right that... Uh, who, whose dog is this, by the way? <laughs> on, a, on an individual basis, on an individual basis, between two individuals, you might have a point. But the issue here is, he's telling the Arabs, turn away from your families, from your kin, who are disbelievers, join Islam, so you're breaking your ties here, with, with family. Right. With, and the Arabs were very, very, and they still are, right. very tribal, right. right? And family to them and tribe to them is everything. Right. Okay, hold on a second. Not only that, but you know this alcohol that you love so much? I don't. Not you. I'm an ex-Muslim. Not, not, like not you. I'm talking about the Arabs. Oh, yeah. This alcohol that you love so much, by the way, guys, no more alcohol. And you know you have to wake up now before sunrise and you have to pray. Okay? Before right. sunrise, you've got to get up now. Right. You can't get drunk and wake up at midday. You've got to wake up at five in the morning and you have to pray every day. Right. And you can't drink. Right. And you can't fornicate. You like fornicating at the moment. You can't do that either. Right. Okay? And you have to fast in Ramadan. And you have to, by the way, defend yourselves, even if it means fighting your own families who wish to try to kill you, you have to defend yourself against them. Now, now, hold on a second. Now, to convince those people that this book cannot be replicated right. Right. is an impossible task. Actually, it's not. Okay, why is that? So a different picture would be, let's say that I am poor, right? I'm an Arab living in that era. I don't have much support. Um, I don't, I feel like I'm being oppressed. I think the more powerful tribes are um, mistreating the less powerful tribes. They have monopolized the trade. Uh, they're taking advantage of people without prote without protection, and all of a sudden, this guy is coming and saying, "You're all equal. Um, all these inequalities doesn't matter. There's only one true God, and uh, you say some beautiful poetry, and you are a, you are a very you know you're a leader that has a very convincing, charismatic. You fall in love with this leader. You create a cult of personality. Yes, I think that would be very appealing, right? If you if you're um, if your life is not that good, um, this is a new opportunity. You said, new... sorry, you said you were an ex-Muslim, yes? Yes. What's your name, sorry? Armin. Armin Abbas, yeah? Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Yes. Have you studied basic Islamic history? Yes. Did the Muslims, did the Muslims become poorer 
And did their persecution and torture increase to extremes right, right. once they accepted Islam or not? Yes, it did. For mo mo some of them. For most of them? Yes. For most of them? Yeah, okay. okay. In fact, they were killed, yes. tortured, right. raped, all sorts of things. Right. Right? Not all of them, but all of them. Most of them. Especially Bilal, for example. M most of them. Yeah. No, not just Bilal. No, I, I just Many remember are... Bilal the most. Yeah, well, there are, uh, the, the, the first Shaheed was a woman. Right. And her, and her husband, right, right. and her, her, Ammar was a son, radiallahu yeah. anhu. Ammar survived, but he was tortured greatly as well. Right, right, right. Okay? And also, to contradict what I said, yes. not, not everyone was poor. No, Osman was that's rich. Right. He converted to Right, Islam. there were many, many people, noble from high families, right, right. right, who converted to Islam. Yes, yes. Look, brother, what I'm going to say to you is this. Okay. And it's not a, a slur on yourself, please, okay. so don't take it personally. I won't. Okay. When I sometimes speak to non-ex-Muslims, uh, uh, okay. many of the things that they actually say mm -hmm. are very similar to those people that I speak to who, are, who have really very little knowledge about Islam. So they come up with a suggestion, but look, in practicality, in real terms, we have to be reasonable. Okay. Have I not? No, 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 not you. I'm talking about as a, as a topic, an, ass an assessment of a topic. Okay. If you or I were living in Arabia, in a good family, mm -hmm. we're wearing the most expensive oud, right. we're dressing the, mo the richest thobes. Right, right, right. And the next day for accepting Al-Islam, I'm wearing tatty, torn clothes. Right. And I'm, I've lost, every my father disowns me. Right. I have to do that for something that I truly believe in. Right. Okay? Truly, right? And the greater the detrimental effect to my life, mm -hmm. the more convincing I need to be able to do whatever it's being I'm convinced so by of. by that argument... No, no, my point okay. to you is this, look. Let me know when I can. The point is, when I said to you, you cannot imitate the Quran. Right. The Arabs at the time, the, the haters, Many of them tried. In fact, one of their most famous poets, right. you might know the story, yes. where the Quraysh say, go and find out where Muhammad is getting his words from. Right. Right. Okay. So he goes and listens to the Prophet right. And when he returns, they look at him and they say, you know, the man that left us is not the same man that has returned. But you were oh, making a different oh, point about no, 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 I, I, I'm to, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you about, I'm just going back to the original point. Okay. And they asked him, where is he getting these words from? Where is this Quran coming from? Right. Okay. And he said, give me some time. I need to think about it. Okay. So he was pacing up and down in his house, thinking about, frowning, thinking about how he was going to answer this question. Not only did Allah reveal what he was doing in his Quran, in the Quran, the verses came down, that he's walking, he's pacing. I read the and he's Quran, thinking, I don't remember that. Okay, I'll, I'll find it for you. He's pacing, but when he comes back, what does he say? Is he a madman? No, these are not the words of a madman. Is he a poet? He says, Wallah, I'm the best poet out of all of you. This is not poetry. He, then they said to him, what is this? He said, the only thing that I can say is that this is magic. Okay. Without, him under, without him acknowledging or understanding that he's already accepted a supernatural cause of the Quran. Because the Arabs, remember at the time, and this is a disbeliever. They were very no, but, he, Arabs were very but he's a disbeliever. Right. But it's now, still superstitious. So, so if I asked you the question, right. where do you think the Quran came from? Right. You have to come up with an answer. Well, I do have an answer, but yes. I don't have to come up with an answer because there are appeals appeal to ignorance. Just because you don't know the answer to something doesn't mean that the other person's answer is true. But I do have an answer. No, is that's it, not what. Look, the issue here is no, you're you an you're you an understand the appeal to I, ignorance. I, I understand that, but you're an ex-Muslim, right? Right. So you've obviously looked into this. Right. Yes. You studied it, right? Yes. So to reject something, you've managed to disprove it. 
N no, no, that's not how you, that's not how disbelief works, right? Okay. For example, let me tell you, tell you, let's say like neither you and I know where the sun gets its energy. Yes. Okay. And if I tell you, come to you, I'm like, I know where the sun gets its energy. It has a trillion double A batteries inside the sun, and that's yes. where it gets its energy. Yes. Right. And you think that makes no logical sense, yes. right? Yes. And you say that's that that's not true. Yes. Okay. And I'm like, well, where do you? What what is your answer? Let's say you don't know the answer, but you think my answer is illogical. Yes. You don't have to have an answer to know that what answer okay, I'm giving you. That analogy is doesn't work here. I'll tell you why. Why? Because you see, you're basing a, a trillion uh, AA batteries based upon prior knowledge that that can't happen. Right. Exactly. Okay. That's what so, I'm doing. No, no. So, so my point to you is this: Look, you have prior knowledge of an, an, an impossibility. Mm -hmm. And then when somebody raises an impossibility to you, you reject it. Right. But this is not the example that I'm giving you. The example that I'm giving you is this. Right. That if I claim to you that the Quran is from Allah, and I give you reasons as to why I believe it's from Allah, right. it's, it, should not be, right. it should not be an exercise of rationality, which is subjective, but it should be a more academic exercise of analysis of the claims. Yeah. So, for example, well, I if mean, I said I to if, get... if I said to you, if I said to you, cannot so, the, the so Quran far... cannot be imitated, cannot be uh, cannot be replicated, right? Right. You can do now an assessment of that, yeah, a fairly easy. a fairly critical assessment, and say, okay, all of these non-Muslim Arabs. I don't get to talk much. Do I? I'll, I'll give you a chance. Okay. A lot of these non-Muslim Arabs, many of whom hate Islam, right. surely they must have met the challenge. They, I mean, they have. Where? Many people have. Where? Like, Show me. Like a lot of my, a lot of people that I know that are, to, even today that are Arab poets have met the challenge. But which, which I, ones? But I could show you the people. Brother, I've been, studied but, this. I've studied. I've studied well, this. Let me tell her. I, I, okay, but you, but if you say to me, right. a lot of Arab poets have met the challenge. Right. Can I? And I say which ones? Well, I mean, and then you say, "Well, I you have know, to get out my phone." Well, you have to give me, of course. Yeah, we will. have to analyze that, don't we? Yeah, no. The thing is that and when I show you better, like, okay, so meeting the challenge does it have to be exactly the same? No, or just a beautiful poetry. No, 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 no. The Quran has a certain. The Quran. Well, I've read the challenge. Yes. It just says a book like it. It doesn't very. It's not. A, Quran is not very well written, in my opinion. Okay. okay. It actually doesn't make it very clear what the criteria for this challenge is. Are you, are you familiar with classical Arabic? Can I, can I say something? Right? No, but are you familiar with classical Arabic? Well, we studied it for six years, but that was a long time ago. Yeah, but are you, are you familiar with Arabic, classical Arabic of the Quran? Well, depend familiar, because I, I aced all my Arabic exams, right. but that was in high school. Yeah, but was that a classical Arabic, yeah, I'm talking yeah. the Quranic Arabic? Yeah, well, because I was raised in an Islamic country. Yeah, but that's not classical Arabic, though, is it? There's no, a difference. it has to be based on, like, we, we have a Quran. Islamic studies and Islam and Islamic studies and Arabic studies. Yes. And the whole point of Arabic studies is to understand the Quran. Yes. So we we analyze the Quranic verses in Arabic. Yes. But that was a long time ago. I was in high school. Right. I'm 36 years. Right. So I, I, I was familiar with it, but maybe I'm a little bit familiar with it right now. Okay. The point is that. When you say like it, if it's an exact copy, well, just I'm just copying the Quran. That's right. Right? So by, by like it, do they mean like it's just beautiful poetry? Because there are so much beautiful Arabic poetry out there that when I read, it's actually way more beautiful than the Quran. Much better than the Quran. There are so many, in history, there are so many Arab poets that have done a fantastic job. In fact, the Quran, I only like two surahs in the Quran that kind of like beautiful poetically, you know. The rest of it, it doesn't really... It, it, it's not very interesting, it's not very beautiful. I don't really understand why people, like, the, pro the problem with this challenge is, if I say this poetry is more beautiful, you could just say it's not. Yeah, but you've, that's, uh, have you, uh, that's why I said to you, right. have you studied the, 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 gr the grammatical miracles of the Quran, the way the oh, structure yeah. is con constructed? Right. Uh, uh, have you studied that? Like, I, well, are you talking about the mathematical proof? No, 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 no. No, th this is my point. Okay. This so, is my this is my point to you. No, I know. I know. I've you're, seen, you're, you're, I've seen, you're you're going pure. You're pure. You're going purely on aesthetics of okay. what you what you what you feel subjectively Let me to yourself. My point to you was a more academic one. So that's very interesting because the Quran doesn't really specify what does it mean by this Look, meeting the challenge. But, but what was that's my, your definition. What was my of the what was my point to you? Right. My point to you was here comes a Quran down. Right. Okay. I'm your neighbor. I'm your neighbor. Right. I say, okay, I'm a prophet. 
This book is from God. Right. From tomorrow, you've got to believe I'm, the, I'm your prophet. Do everything I say. And you've got to change your life in all of these things. And by the way, this Quran is a miracle and you can't duplicate this Quran. What would you say to me if I said that to you? You said I was crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be impolite, but yeah. You'd say this man's crazy, right? Yes. Right? Well, I mean... Oh, oh, no, you would. I would say it in a less harsh way than crazy. But, but, let's be blunt. Okay. You'd say this man Illogical. is crazy. Illogical. You'd say this man has gone mad. He needs a, he needs a mental... Uh, you know, he needs to go and get some... He needs a psychological uh, analysis done, right? But we're saying now that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he gets wahi... Hold on. Okay. He gets wahi. The ratio of me talking, you talking is very skewed here. Okay. Well, but go he gets wahi. He goes to his people. He says, this Quran is from Allah. And you can't duplicate this Quran. This Quran is unique. Okay. okay? And I'm the prophet of Allah. Well, you can't duplicate and, anything. And, and everything, hold on a second. And everything I say from now right. goes, you've got to completely transform your lives. There has to be something other than just a nice man telling you, no, to, con really. to, to convince you right. of something so enormous. Now, now, now the question. A lot of people have. The, the question here is this. That, yeah. The question here is this. The question here is that the challenge is there, right. and if they had, if they had met the challenge, that would have been the end of Islam and the end of the Quran. But not the reality, really. the reality was that they didn't. And even the haters. No, not really. Even the haters. There's so many. Okay, e even, e e even the haters at that time, even the haters at that time, so, acknowledge that these were not the words of Muhammad. So here's the problem with this conversation. You, you have made six or seven claims and I have a response to all of them, but I have only get to respond to like one or two of them because you okay. don't let me write. Okay. Actually, eventually Muhammad, when he came up with the Quran, people ridiculed him all the time. You know that. About what? About the Quran. No. About it. Yes, there were poets. No. Yes, there no. were po there no, there were. poetry about no, it. No, yeah. they, who, uh, sorry, who? There were poets, okay, actually there were even poets. Who, who ridiculed him about, about the Quran? Just give me one name. There was one guy that even mentioned that one of the one of the people that, I forgot his name, but you know the story probably. There was a, a, one, this is just one example. There was one guy that when he was writing the Quran for Muhammad, when he was reciting it because Muhammad couldn't write, he actually left Islam and he went back to Mecca and he told people because I was I suggested to Muhammad to write something in a different way and Muhammad agreed and he changed the text and when Muhammad agreed when Muhammad agreed he realized that this is all nonsense that Muhammad is just making it up as it goes and it's, the source is not God there are a lot of influences in fact you can see the influence of uh, Christian philosophy the source of uh, Plato uh, Jewish mythology. Because there are monotheistic religions, bro. What? They're all monotheistic religions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he was. Not a surprise. And Muhammad was like traveling, doing trade Absolutely. and everything. So he was basically getting ideas from all these other people around. You know, it's, it's, and what he did was not very unique. There were a lot of people in that time, in, both in the Arabia and Iran. But mostly you you've hit the nail on the head. Right. You hit the nail on the head. It wasn't unique. No, it wasn't unique. Because we've had prophets before. Right. And this was a completion. Right. Many and people. Okay, okay, so, so, let me, so you're no, right. No, no, no. I didn't, let, let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. You hit the nail on the head. Let him finish. Brother, let him finish. 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 But let him finish his point first. So what someone said in Jahiliya time was, this is no nothing new for us. We've had prophets before. Right. He says, so you're right. right. There's nothing even, new. Even even so we came to complete. Let, sorry. Let, let him finish. Right. Go on. I mean, even, even there is like, even like in, in, in like Jerusalem or in, uh, there are people going around all the time saying that they're son of God, they're God, they're sent by God. Uh, and they had proofs, they had poetry, they had scripture. The difference is Muhammad, it wasn't because people didn't meet his Quranic challenge, because how, how, of course you can't replicate a book, if, you can't replicate any book. We go replicate Shakespeare. If you replicate, if it's exactly the same thing, then it's Shakespeare. If it's not, then I say... We, we, we didn't no, say copy, but, did we? Well, okay, replicate. That, you, no, not replicate. Okay, let, let me, me say replicate. Let me, let me Bring one. something... Yeah, you didn't, let me finish my... But if you me, say something incorrect, I have to correct well, you. you said many things incorrect. Well, then yeah. you have to correct me while I say them. So, I... Okay. No, no, you didn't. I wanted to interrupt uh, you. Hold on a second. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You said many things that I thought it was incorrect, okay. and I wanted to interrupt okay. you, and you didn't let me. You finish your point, and I'll get right. I'll come in. Muhammad won militarily. 
he won by force and he he managed to capture Kaaba if he if so many people haven't had joined him and if he didn't have such a powerful army behind him if people wouldn't be like okay fine we're like we're giving to you because your Quran is so great we can't we just have to give up how many months right? did he fight oh, hold on a second right? hold on a second hold on a second right. let him finish so, his point so he let, won, let him finish his point he won a military battle and three he won months. many other prophets around him weren't as successful it could be for many reasons maybe he was okay if that's proof that he is he was right then hitler was right by that therefore. so many people when hitler came he gave very he was charismatic he was he gave some passionate speeches people believed in him people followed him he became very powerful and he took over germany and Hitler took over all over uh, to, uh, Hitler took over Europe right and by that by that standard of people people agreeing with Hitler and following his cult of personality we don't say Hitler was right because of his success rate because of how many people believed in mind comes right that doesn't prove that Hitler was right so it doesn't prove Muhammad was right the number of people but you made so many different points here you realize you that really. you did point, that too. no That's the, my no, point yeah, my point I mean, specifically was right you made, my, my point specifically was that the Quran right was from God and I believe that it's objectively provable that you can prove that it is from God yeah but that was my claim start, you, you no, 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 hold, hold, hold on a second now you've gone into Hitler mind camp uh, and you know you've 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 raised a lot of red herrings quite frankly okay and I'll tell you why so you be, do you believe that therefore Muhammad was a liar and he deceived the people in believing that this is the Quran from God? Well, I don't make claims about things that I cannot No, but you just sure. said no, but you just said, I said that the man said that I told Muhammad to include something in the Quran. Okay. And 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 then he and then he did or he did or whatever. Right. And Muhammad agreed that this was all false. So, 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 my, so I'm asking ask this man name is Abdullah bin Abi. Yeah, 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 exactly. He became Muslim. That's right. One year and That's eight right. months before he was died. That's right. right. Okay. And he lived in Mecca, not in Medina. Yes. Okay. How he become writer of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and a lot of Sahaba he become Muslim. 20 years before right. Abdullah bin Abi Sarah. No, no, no. Right. But, but, so, but my point to you. How we trust the, the, the speak of non-believer people. Right. Oh. So there, He's my, no point, writer. my point is, my point is that there are many oh. different, I'm not saying this is true or that is true, okay? Because what I'm saying is that there are many different, because I wasn't there, right? And the sources that you're using are not reliable sources. These are sources that Muslim or Muslims are giving about Islam, right? It's biased sources. The point is that you could come up with many different explanations for why something is true. I'm not saying which one is true. I'm just saying you have picked one of these explanations and you're saying this is the only explanation. What I give you other explanations is not to make to say that this is the right explanation. I'm just saying I'm showing that you have an ex I'm just making the point that you have an ex let me finish this yeah, one sentence. Yeah. I'm just making the point that you haven't exhausted all other possibilities. You know, that's an absurd argument. Okay. You know why it's an absurd argument? Go on. Because in life, you don't operate, you yourself don't operate like that. Mm -hmm. It's only when it comes to analyzing religion or God that, that I've, I've seen people who disbelieve start jumping. Before that, they don't jump. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. First of all, you made an assertion. You made an assertion that a man wrote down the Quran with Muhammad, suggested things, hold on a second, went back and told the people that this is nonsense and it's not from God, right? right. So I asked you specifically, then what do you believe? Okay. Now, you, what you're saying is what most atheists say. Mm -hmm. They hide behind these words, I don't know. And they just hide behind the I don't knows. That's and you know, that's very, that's very I'll, tell you what's, I'll tell you what's very interesting. Right. The Quran actually talks about this concept of I don't know. Which is a very honest position. The Quran says that the disbelievers are uncertain and they hide behind their uncertainty. They're not hiding, they're, they're actually wearing because, it with pride. Because they're wearing it with pride because it's a cop out. It's an honest I, I, answer. No, it's a cop out. I'll tell you why it's a cop out. Right. Because if a person is honest, right. and I say to you, look, if you say there are only a number of logical variables as to where the Quran could have originated from. Would you accept that? There's none. Um, actually, I don't know if you could exhaust the possibilities. Maybe, yeah. Well, you can't exhaust the possibilities if you're not going to stay within the realms of being reasonable. Okay, but, but if you're going to stay, if you're going to stay sure. within the realms of re being reasonable, yeah. there are only a few rational possibilities as to where the Quran could have come from. Okay. Number one, Muhammad was a liar and he lied to the people and he made up the Quran to convince them. Okay, one. Number one. 
Number two, he was delusional. Mm -hmm. So actually he was mad, mm -hmm. and as a consequence, he just made stuff up. Mm -hmm. And therefore, he came up with this Quran through deception and, and through uh, uh, insanity. Mm -hmm. Or number three, I would argue that he was sincere. And he was a prophet of God. He, he was sincere. Okay. He believed I that. I have it, more. Okay. He was sincere. Okay. What, give, what's the other variables? There's another one that he was a good man. But I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying these are other possibilities. That he, that, he, that he thought that telling people these things will help the society. So like, he lied, basically. Well, maybe like maybe he was being metaphorical. No, he so, lied. That's a lie. Okay, fine. That's if I'm not a prophet of God, okay. and this no, book is maybe, not, and, and this book okay, is not from God. Maybe, and I tell the people, for whatever sure. reason, it's a lie. Put it under the category. So it still comes under that category. Okay, yeah, yeah. Go on. Another point that, that the stories are just made up. Yes. Like these, uh, because especially because most of the hadith, most of the hadith. Forget the hadith, talk about the Quran. Okay, so, well, in the Quran. What are the other variables? Let's stick to point now. Okay, okay. Most of the stories about Muhammad are made up. Stick to the point. How did the Quran came? Lie? Insanity or it was from God. I want you to give me an, another variable. Honest mistakes. An honest mistake. So he's delusional. No, no, not by Muhammad, by other scribes that maybe associated words, words that were circulating to Muhammad. So, it, so it was with, made up later then? Made up later. Yeah. Yeah, so again, deception, lies. No, no, yeah? no, both options. Four, no, four, four, four. Okay. no, no, no that's, not, that's not a lie because the intention was not to lie to people. Like misattribution, honest misattribution. No, 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 let's, let's, I know, I know. He knows that, he knows that, he knows that. He's an, he's an, he's an ex-Muslim, he knows that. I know, I know that. Okay, okay, hold on a second. I'm not saying that it's a four part, I'm just saying that that's what. Okay, okay. I saw your video. So let's, let's analyze those issues. Right. Okay. Okay. If I'm a liar mm -hmm. and I lie about things, right. what happens? What must you logically, now I'm talking about logically, rationally, right. what would be the effect of a person who is a multiple, uh, you know, pathological liar? What would be the effect of that? Do you know, can I say something? About no, no, no. Answer the question. Stick to but, point. But I, okay. No, stick to the point. What would be the effect of that scripture? What would be the effect of the scripture yes. if somebody is actually lying? A pathological liar. Well, it depends. That's my answer. What, what does it depend on? How good of a liar are you? Okay. How, how much how how much you can make people believe in you. Yes. How charismatic you are, how good of a leader you are. How could, how many people, how passionately you speak about your how life. How much you can see in the future. No, I don't. I, this is another claim that you didn't let me respond to. There's nothing in the Quran that predicts the future, but that's a different argument. Because so the 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 the, uh, the 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 issue of Rome, Rome versus that's, Persia, right. you're, you're saying that's not a, a that's prophecy. Not. The thing is that I've seen this claim made about the Bible, about the no, Torah. No, forget the Torah. Forget the no, Bible. No, I'm, just, I'm asking you specifically. Let's stick to point. No, I'm making a he's, point. He's, he's saying what if he, I want to stick to the point. I'm, I'm the just, Quran predicts mm -hmm. that the Romans would once again conquer the Persians. The Quran says many. Okay, well, I'm thinking, forget many things. I'm talking about that one specific thing. Well, if you let me finish this, you will see how it's relevant right, to that. Right. If I write a book that makes a lot of claims, right, it would be very unlikely that one of them doesn't end up being true. Right. It's like you just randomly say. If I just right. randomly say like this is going to happen, that's going to happen. This is where the the sun goes down, this is how the world is coming. Like, you have a book of nonsense saying many things about many different things. Of course, something is going to happen at some point that loosely to tie into something. You know, you've just made my argument. Thank you very much. Okay. You know why? Okay. Because you see what you've just done there. Am I being rude in No, way? no, no, no. Okay. But you see what you've just done there. If you speak a lot of nonsense, Oh, yeah. I, was that rude? If, no, 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 no. No, I didn't say you were rude. Okay. Did you think I said you were no, rude? No, no, I just want to make sure. No, I just, said you, I just said that you made my argument for okay, me. Good. Thank you. Okay. If I make lots of claims, mm -hmm. I make lots of prophecies. Right. Every cause has an effect. Okay. That particular cause will have a very, very uh, damning effect on that scripture. You know what it will be? Right. Many errors will be uncovered in the future. Which they have in the Quran. Many <laughs> prophecies will not come true. Which they haven't. Uh, like which prophecy? No, I, not just prophecies. Which also prophet? Say, they're so, okay. You said so, they haven't. Yes. Which, which prophecy did not come true? I pull, I pull out the Quran. You give me the quote. 
Um, okay, so for example, um, but not just the Quran, but Quran and the Hadith. No, right? uh, no, a, no. No, 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 no. Let's not, let's not, let's not jump right. around. Okay. You said the Quran made a prophecy okay. which did not come true. Right. So give me the prophecy. I'll, I'll open the Quran here. And okay. Well, give fine. me. Well, I know. I mean, I don't memorize the Quran like you have, but each one bring up the prophecy. Be honest. You don't know, do you? Well, I, I have seen it. Let's be honest. No, no, no. no. Let's don't, be frank. No, no, I'm frank. I'm frank. You don't know, do you? I, I do. Okay. I do. Can you give me the prophecy? No, then? because I haven't memorized Can you tell me the nature of the prophecy? What was it talking about? Um, well, it was talking about in um, the Jews, right, for example, right? It was talking about the Zulganin, right? That's not a prophecy, is it? Right, okay. Maybe That's science. history. Okay, so... I want to know, okay. you, you said, look, Brother, if we're going to be honest, I'm not. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to corner you here. Okay, no, no. I'm not trying to win an argument. Yeah, yeah. But if you, if we're going to have an honest okay. argument, if we're going to have an honest discussion, right. you've got to be can honest. I can I be yeah. honest? Okay. Yeah. I am just a slight correction. Nothing in nothing. Neither um, it's the correction is like maybe not prophecy, but things that were supposed to happen in the past didn't happen. In the past. How, how can you? Say? Or like Brother, things if that... I said to you something happened in the past, right? Okay. That's even worse. Hold on a second. If I said to you something happened in the past, no, hold, no you're right. Hold on, hold on no, I'm admitting something. I'm admitting something. Hold, hold to you. I'm admitting something that you're right. Right. I'm admitting something you're right that you said that I was wrong. Right. And you were right. Okay. Fine. And the, the thing that you said that I was wrong was that the things that I was thinking about that is wrong. The no, nature of them, the nature of them are scientific and things about the past that never happened. Yes. So those are the nature of the things that I know in the Quran okay. that are wrong. Let's deal and with you're the, right. Let's, and you're right okay. that when you said they're not prophecies, okay, fine. you're correct. Let's let's deal with the two that you just mentioned. Okay. Which if, one? If I mentioned if I mentioned something in the past and it never happened. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on a second. Yeah. If I mentioned something in the past, right. the correctness of that statement referring to something in the past right. is dependent upon historians and scientists no, he, no I'm it's not about science as it's well. not scientists I'm talking about history here I'm talking about history and science. there are two subjects okay. sci history and science we can't talk about both together okay sorry. there are rational possibilities of whether something happened or did not happen Right. But you can't be conclusive about something that ha might or might not have happened thousands of years ago, can you? Well, you and, can. Uh, unless it's specifically of a scientific nature, whereby if I said to you, the sun did not exist 5,000 years ago, right. you could then scientifically say that that's, that statement is incorrect. But if I said to you an event occurred okay. 5,000 or 10,000 years ago, can I, can I just let me point? just finish my point. You can't say as an absolute whether it did or did not happen. You have to you have to bow to the academia surrounding the subject, right? right? I agree. Right. But, but that but that academia is not an absolute can in I, itself. Can I make my examples? Please. Please. Do, do three. So right. The, the prophecies that I think that are wrong are mostly based in the hadith, and you want to focus on the Quran. Well, because because that that's what I believe okay. came from Allah. Okay. No Muslim believes that okay. the hadith are a, a verbatim from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. But they believe the Quran is the literal know, word of I know, God. I know, I know. So let's so deal I'm, with that. I'm just clarifying because had, I'm, I'm admitting that something I said was wrong, right? Okay, fine. So the prophecies that I... So, but, but we want to focus on the Quran. The Quran, uh, let's focus on two... Sci one scientific, one history. Let's go to the history first okay. and we can look at the scientific. All right. So the problem with the Zulkarnain thing yes. is that it's such a big event in the Quran yes. that it should be easy for historians. So this is, by the way, not deductive reasoning. This is inductive reasoning, right? So this is a make something very extremely unlikely to be true, given that the claims that the Quran makes about Zulkarnain and the invasions that he have made and the people that he have met the, and the numbers of the people and the wall that he was supposed to build that is such a major event in history that if I, if it had happened, we would have known about it. Why, why do you say that? Because we have evidence for much smaller events in yes. history that yes. have happened yes. way before an army that big or a, like we have evidence for things that have happened for cavemen or for small villages, yes. small things. Have we have, lost a lot of history throughout history? Yeah, but nothing that big 
How would you know? How would you know? It, how would you know if something has been lost? Right. So it, 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 if some, no, no. Listen. Look, look at the logic. No, look at the logic here. That's some, why I said it's inductive. Some, not some, deductive something reasoning. could be greater than the Zulkarnain incident. Right. Like the very creation of this universe. Right. Right. Okay. Or the very creation of Earth. Right. Which you and I did not witness. So that's my point. My point was. See, but you, but you can't treat that as an absolute to deny something, then, can yeah, you? That's why I said it's not inductive reasoning, so it's, it's so, deductive. So, how can you say it's wrong? Because, with, okay, with, with history, you can never use deductive. You can never be like, this is absolutely right, that. Right, of course. Answer, right? Of course. You can be like, this is, seems like extreme, like close to impossible. Why? 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 But, but you can never say this is absolutely. No, you but, said absolutely. No, but when you say close to impossible, right. I want to see your rationale. So you're talking about Gog and your, Magog. Your, your rationale. The, number, the people that they're so large in number. Yes. That they're, the number of them is higher than the people that already exist in the world, right? And they, that, that group of people have been completely missed by historians. Well, and you think that's possible? You, because you're using the wrong spectacles to analyze the issue. Okay, but your spectacles are from a purely ob your spectacles are purely from an observational mm -hmm. analysis of so, events. Hold on a second. Okay. But we know, we know right. that a there are many things that are not observational, are not in our observation. Right. And two, there are things, of course, for religious people that are supernatural. Right. Which are also hidden. So, for example, right. Allah says that there aren't. I think is it two fingers or four fingers between space from here to the heavens, where there is an angel that is prostrating to Allah. Okay. Yeah. Can you see the angels? No. Can I see the angels? No. no. But now, now the thing is, if you're going to look at it from a purely objective uh, rationale right. based upon uh, observation, that, 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 that statement will be absurd. Yes, it is. Of course, but we're not saying that you should be looking at looking at it through so you see the, the spectacles you see the of double standard. Here. No, there's no double standard. Man, what are you saying? You don't understand. Yeah, but oh, that's you do, that's a that's a very anyway, that's, let, a, let, that's not a good response. What, 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 that? He, he's having a logical conversation with me, and you're not. Just saying anyway, to somebody. Don't get upset. Go on. Say what. Say what it is. This is the say. proper. But even though, by the way, I just want to thank you because even though I don't, I disagree with you. It's very rare to find somebody to have a good, friendly, well, proper discussion with. May Allah well, make me that way. Yeah. Really? Is it rare? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. anyway, let him let him finish. Let's no, not. No, I'm just curious. I'm let, 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 I think you, I think you're very friendly and very. Okay. I, I appreciate the very friendly discussion that you're having with me. So thank you for I that. I think it's a mutual. Thank yeah, you as well. Thank you. Okay. And and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're. Oh wrong. no, go ahead. Of course. So I think there's a double standard happening here because when it comes to making claims about like the life of Muhammad, right? We're basing it, like we're doing a psychological analysis of somebody that was living 1400 years ago and we're losing, using uh, very, we're just making very hard claims, like sure claims, like this, this is the only explanation, this is like, he must, the people, uh, did, how could somebody be wealthy and leave their religion if, they, if this wasn't true? And it seems like, you know, professional psychologists today can make claim, don't make claims like this about people that they're meet, meeting in their real life. Today. I'm a psychiatrist. Thank you. I mean psychiatrist. Right. Right. Okay. And they, like, if I say like, oh, that man is insane or that man is like a psychopath, a professional would be like, you can't, you can't just say that by looking at somebody and like listening to. They're like, you need to really study the guy in person. But the thing is, the interesting thing is, the loose standard is like Muslims are making. Oh, this person. Let, let's let, let's let, let's let, 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 Okay. No, 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 but let's stick no, no, to our point. Well, let, let's let's stick to our uh, point. Yeah. Now, which no, was point, Gog, Gog and Magog. My point is that let's stick to that. My point is that there is a double standard, right? So he's been scrutinized. Yeah, and he stood the time. But, of time. Yeah, but you cannot study somebody from this by hearsay as secondary sources. No, you're, you're being you're, 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 look. It's a straw man. I'll tell you why that's a straw man. No, but let me look, let me no, let me you, tell you. Bring it to back to you're, you're, when, you, when you say when, when, when you talk about God. psychologists, right? Yeah. When you talk about psychologists, there is a book written about the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, by Leslie Hazelton. Okay. She's an agnostic Jew. Yeah, but, no, okay, but I was making a point. You just did, though. That's the problem. No, I, it wasn't finished. But, okay. I was trying to bring it to God. No, but Bagot. the problem is, if you make so many points, and now you talk about psychology, you talk about psychological so analysis. My point is that. But then, but then if you look, if my, you, but my, if you, but if what, my, what, what, okay, I will make one point. Please, right. let's, let's stick to God. Let's right. stick to God. Right. Right. My, right. my point is that. You, you when when it comes to me saying that why this is doesn't uh, match 
academic and scientific evidence, you're like, well, it could be supernatural, it could be this. No, you're talking no. about history here. Yeah. History, but when it comes to history, is not science. You stick by science. No. No, 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 no. But you're you're, right. you're conflating so, you're conflating two issues here. You look, science and history are separate things, aren't they? Yeah, no, I'm talking about using empirical evidence. I'm talking, I'm talking about. There is no empirical em evidence with history. I, I said that to you the, from the beginning. No, if people go archaeological evidence. That's not empiricism, is it? Well, I mean, it's based on observation. Right, it's based but on observation. It's based, it's based, on, on, it's based on observation, right. and from the observation, right. what do you do? You derive a conclusion right. or a, a, but, a, 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 a theory. When, as, hold on. A theory. So, for example, I'll my give you an point, example. Me, no, no. My point is that when observation doesn't match the conclusions that Muslims want, they appeal to that's the supernatural. That's not true. That's not but true. But when it, when it does... Muhammad, no, 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 that's not true. That's not true. Look, let me, let, me, let, me, let me please explain the Gog and Magog thing to you. No, no, no. You're, you're, conflating, you're conflating several arguments. Sorry. You're, you're, conflating, several, you're conflating several arguments right. I'm to, to justify your stance okay. when in reality... Science and history has nothing to do with each other. Um, I mean, based as, on how you define science. Unless, some people as, social as, sciences. unless I make a scientific claim in history, which you can then analyze in the modern times as to the validity of that scientific claim. Okay, basically. But if I'm saying a historical event occurred, let me give you an example. History is part of social, um, human, you know, humanity is part of science. But it's not an analytical or empirical okay. study of, right. of, of past events. Right. Well, okay? This. Depending upon the evidence that you find, right. the strength of your conclusion is linked to that. Right. That's now, science. if yeah. there are some past events, if there are some past events right. that we've lost, right. can you apply scientific method to that? Um, yes. The, 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 so, okay, so if I, they're lost, like, the evidence is lost. Okay, so the, so the thing is that I understand what you're saying, right? There, there. I agree with you that there might be some things that that have uh, that have happened, but in a very extraordinary situation, there's no evidence, on, right? My point is that the likelihood, the likelihood, is possible to be true, but the likelihood of something that that big happening without a trace of evidence is extremely low. I give it to you that the chance of that is not zero. You can't arbitrarily set the, a, you can't arbitrarily say something right? uh, that it is very low or it's nearly impossible so, based upon simply uh, you know your opinion. That's not my opinion. No, of course it is. No. Because That's history. No. That's history kind of Did you know that all of we've lost ninety nine point nine nine percent of all species? Well, yeah, but we, have, lost evi them. we have evidence for it. No, no, we've lost them right. completely. Right. So, in the fossil, uh, for example, in, in fossil remains... So, you were switching I'm, something else? No, no, I'm giving you about evidence, about, about history. You see, I, that's what I was no, doing no, when I switched. This is, this, is, this, is, this is specific. This is specific, to you, this is specific to your historical claim. Specific to your historical claim. 99.9% .9 of the fossils don't exist. They're lost. No, no, no. My point to you is, now if there was, let's say for argument's sake, a three-legged elephant that lived a hundred million years ago, right? Okay, and I make the claim. I make a claim. I understand your claim. Okay, I make the claim. I your point. Okay, I make the claim. All you can say is that I don't have any evidence for right. a three-legged elephant. Right. Why do you claim that there was a three-legged elephant? Right. Okay. So, Hold on a second. Right. So then I would say, okay, of course the Qur'an doesn't talk about three-legged elephants, but I would bring the Qur'an and I would say, this is my evidence, and these are the... Hold on a second, let me just finish. Okay. And these are the reasons why I believe the Quran that this is true. Qur'an is true. So you see the double standard? No, 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 hold on a second. There's no double standard here, brother. You're, the double standard is up there. Okay. It's not in what I'm telling you. Okay, the double standard is, like, let's say I have a book...